Good afternoon, subscribers. It is afternoon, and I'm at my home on Saturday. And it's a good day to talk story. Here's what I want you to think about first. Do not criticize yourself. Every single person criticizes themselves. I was once directing the famous actor Anthony Quinn, 180 Hollywood movies. And I said to him, hey, you want to see the dailies, which is the shoot at the end of the day? And he says to me, are you crazy? If I have a look at myself, I'll never act again. Don't look at yourself. Don't criticize yourself. Just start. So we're going to start. What I'm going to talk about first is how to interview yourself. So you're in a room like I'm in, totally alone. That's my suggestion. You're talking to the camera, but not really. You put in your mind, who are you talking to? Is it me? The old man? Who's David Hoffman? Old man done a thousand interviews, thousands of interviews, and most importantly, I don't judge you. I'm not a judge of how good you are. I do care that you tell the story with emotion, with feeling, with how you really see it. Who are you talking to? You're talking to help someone, maybe, like you. You're talking to share a story that you think is enjoyable. You're talking to get it out of yourself. Get it out of yourself. You're talking to the future. You're talking to legacy. You're talking to history. That this has to be said. You're talking to a moment of walking along a cloudy day, trees, and you just feel a certain way. Emotion, emotion, emotion. Feeling, feeling, feeling. Personal, personal, personal. So then, you just begin. Um, the story. So I've shot my first documentary for television. $9,000 they gave me. I went to North Carolina, 23 years old, to shoot bluegrass mountain music in the mountains of uh, Appalachia, which I was thrilled to go to, first time on an airplane. I shoot the movie, first time I've ever held a 16 millimeter camera that isn't a home camera. And it's bouncy. Sometimes it's out of focus. A lot of times I'm zooming this way and then I'm zooming that way and not realizing mm, that's a critical moment. I don't want to zoom like that. I make the movie. I'm really proud of it. It's my first edit. It goes on television in the prime time and it gets the cover of TV Guide. What is this business? I mean, it's so easy. So I go to one of the networks, the places of real power. This is where the money is. And I see a vice president at ABC. I don't know how I got the meeting. And he has seen five minutes of my film. Come in, sit down. He says, your film stinks. You're a terrible cameraman. You can't focus zooming. Awful. I'd never hire you. And I leave. Now, is that the end of my story? I've just told you a story. I've got some emotion in my face and some feelings. But that's not the end of my story. And since I'm going to edit you, you can go back and do it again. You can stop in the middle and then sort of start again. You can think about it a minute and say, well, stand like that a minute. Make sure your hands are sort of in the same place and just start right in. So that isn't the end of the story. I'm going to jump to the end of the story. I become a filmmaker. I get a lot of work. And 15 years later, I have a company. And my company has about 30 people in it. And I'm looking to hire someone. And who walks in my door? Same guy. Same guy who treated me like such crap. He didn't have to. I was 23 years old. He could have been really kind. Give me encouragement. He didn't. So I said, hey, hi. Remember me? No, who are you? 15 years ago, I came into your office. No, I don't remember. I had this movie about bluegrass. Oh, he said, I guess you're not going to hire me. And I said, I'm not. So what's the story? Anything an incident, a memory, a person, a feeling, a real thing you saw, a thing you lived, your own personal life, your upbringing, really anything or a bunch of things. If you have more than one thing, you can connect it. If I think it should be more than one little movie, I'll make more than one little movie. I'm not worried about that. I am worried about boring. What's well, boring? Not enough detail, not enough feeling not really something that would matter to anybody but you. 
even then, give it a try. I don't want you not to shoot. I want you to shoot, 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 send, 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 because that's how we're gonna build this kind of new experiment. You know what I call it? Ordinary people, extraordinary stories. Time, how long? Three minutes, 30 minutes? 30 minutes is a lot of video. Three minutes is probably too short. I'll edit, so don't worry about that. But don't cut yourself, don't edit yourself. Let yourself just ramble. And if you cry, if you laugh, if you gotta have a cup of coffee, it's all good. All part of the story. There's one clip recently that I posted where I left the girl sneezing. I don't know if you saw that. Woman, I should say. And people understand why I've left that. It's real. It's, it's part of the story. So here's a couple of examples. There's gonna be links at the top. The first one is I'm doing a film on people who've had cancer and are about to die, but don't die. Really interesting. I set up the camera. I say to the person, talk to other people in the same situation as you are. Try to help them. And I leave the room. The camera's rolling. I want you to look at that just to see that person telling a story to other people who have cancer and are going to die, except he didn't. The second video up there, another link, is a guy, not my video, who has felt God in his presence, has been with God when he kind of died on the operating table. I want you to see it because there are no zooms, crappy camera, crappy shot, but it's very interesting, his experience. And remember, I'm going to edit. I want to say the great editor, David Hoffman, is going to make you of interest, of importance to the people who want to see you on YouTube, on your channel if you have one, with your family members if you have any, with the future. Okay, so let's get to how you get this to me. First of all, you go to Google Docs. And on Google Docs, you'll see the link at the top, you will see four papers, two of them you need. The first video, I have outlined what I said. This video, I've outlined what I've said. And then there are one or two papers that you need to send to me, sign and send to me. One is my, the release, my ability to edit and put you on my YouTube channel. It's a exclusive release given to me from you. It's simple, one page, take a look at it. I don't think you'll find anything offensive. It is the standard release that I use. The second is if you're interviewing somebody else. If you're interviewing somebody else, they have to sign the paper. So this is a release for someone you're interviewing rather than you. At the bottom of the first paper is if you're under 18, you do have to get permission from someone over 18. That's the law. So you've got to sign these two papers and you've got to send them back to me in the Dropbox folder. Dropbox. Dropbox can be gotten on your phone, a download, or on your computer. If you're on your phone, you take the little video or the one or two pages and that you signed and you stick it either in the Dropbox folder or you could email it to me, all in a day at AOL.com. A-L-L-I-N-A-D-A-Y at AOL.com. Once I have that, you're now gonna put in the Dropbox folder your video. If it's more than one video, you can stick it all in the folder and you share it, there's a little share at the right hand top, with me. I am David at LabTV, L-A-B-T-V dot com. And what I want you to do there is, if you have any problem, look at the top. I've tried to describe it. Let me say again, you will find that this has more meaning and more power and more longevity than you could ever imagine. Good luck. Thank you. You don't need luck. You need confidence. I give you that. Hello, subscribers that are going to be doing an interview to send to me where they've interviewed someone else. Give, give you some suggestions. That's really what I'd like to do. There are so many. You can take up to an hour. Don't rush it. You tell the person this is important. It's important. This is the future. This is history. You don't ask questions that are just, so tell me what you thought of it. Say more. So tell me what you thought of it. Did you like it? Did you not? Why did you like it? Make the question longer. And don't allow yes or no for an answer. If they say that, you got to say more. Tell the people, you got to say more, say more, say more, tell me more. Sometimes it's on the third try where the person actually gets out what they've been holding in. That's such a wonderful story that you know is why you really are interviewing them. Interview shot should be here. Don't change the angles. I'll do that in the editing. Sure, here. No or wider because now you're behind the camera so you can control that shot. 
sit behind the camera. Sit behind the camera, not to the side. It shouldn't look like this. This is the press. Yes, I do believe that there's been a big accident. Yes, I do believe there's been a big accident. Very different. You're looking at me, the speaker. I'm looking at you behind the camera and I kind of see one of your eyes. Very important. When you ask a question, wait. Sometimes people kind of get halfway through and they stop to think and bad interviewers jump right in with another question, changing the subject. Look, don't do that. Just wait. Wait till they're really done. Here's another point. You're going to have a, a, a pad like I do right now. What I want you to do is really listen. When you hear something that's off the pad, but it's where the person's mind is going, stop and ask another question about that. Don't have a list that you stick to no matter what the person said. Some answers will be eh. Some answers will be fantastic. And maybe one answer is the whole video. So stick on the points that come up to the person that they want to talk about, that they're interested in, that you can see their eyes brighten. If somebody cries, and people often do when I'm doing interviews, it's fine. There's nothing wrong with crying. There's nothing wrong with laughing. There is something wrong with stopping and taking a 10 minute break. If they have to stop, say, can you do that on camera? And tell me what you're thinking. Why are you stopping? What's holding you back? You get what I'm saying. And of course, don't forget to get that release signed. You get a copy of it by going to Google Docs. I'm really excited about your interviews because I suspect that you've been waiting to do this or felt this was good or felt you're sort of interesting, but the other person's really interesting, which is how I feel. So go forth, do interviews, lots of them, and send them to me. I can't wait. We're going to build a library, an archive of which you will be a part. Thank you.